In problem number 10 of section 1.2, we calculate the antiderivative of the square root of 36 plus y squared. Now, we'll use trig substitution. If we let theta uh, equal the inverse tangent of y over 6, uh, then that implies that uh, tangent of theta is equal to y over 6, or y is equal to 6 tangent theta. So we can rewrite the, uh, the original integral uh, as integral of square root of 36 plus 6 squared, or 36, tangent squared. And dy. Now we see that, um, oh wait, one thing they, last thing they need to do, uh, we know that y is equal to tangent theta. Uh, this means that dy uh, will be equal to 6 secant squared theta d theta. So now we can substitute in d theta, uh, or substitute in this term for dy. So this is multiplied by 6 secant squared of theta, d theta. And we have 36 in each term, so we can factor that out. And we just end up with the square root of 36. So factor out 1 6. And then also factor out this 6, which leaves us with 36 outside the integrand. And we're left with 1 uh, plus tangent squared of theta under the radical, and d theta. Now if we remember our trigonometric identity, that uh, 1 plus tangent squared of theta is equal to secant squared of theta, then we can rewrite this whole thing as 36 times the integral of and I dropped the secant, uh, secant squared term here. This should be secant squared of theta d theta is equal to 36 times the integral. Uh, now we have the square root of uh, secant squared, or just secant, uh, times secant squared is secant cubed of theta, d theta. Now, um, proposition 1.2.3 gives us a formula to compute this. And it says that this is equal to 36 uh, times uh, natural log uh, excuse me, um, 36 times secant theta tangent theta plus natural log of secant theta plus tangent of theta all over 2. And this is great if we want our answer in terms of theta, but we were originally asked to find the integral with respect to y. So we can use uh, the fact that um, theta is equal to the arctangent of y over 6 to compute the secant and tangent of these angles in terms of y. And the easiest way to do this is, say, if this is the angle theta, we know that uh, arctangent of theta is equal to y over 6, which means that uh, tangent of theta is equal to y over 6. And tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. This must be y, and this must be 6. Well, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to say that the hypotenuse is 36 plus y squared. Uh, 
so if we, we can cancel out the 2, so we have 18. I can say that, well, secant theta uh, is 1 over cosine. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So 1 over 6 over 36 plus square root is 36 plus y squared um, will be just 36. Right, 36 plus y squared, square root of that, over 6. And tangent of theta uh, will be opposite over adjacent, or y over 6. And plus natural log of secant theta, which we just found to be uh, square root. of 36 plus y squared over 6 uh, plus tangent of theta, which is y over 6. So rather complicated answer, but this last expression is the integral of uh, the given integral.